world is at a crossroads. We are standing before a choice. If you look back in the history of civilization, right? Uh, you had the Romans, the Incas, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they all got to very sophisticated models, and then they hit a boundary condition and they suddenly collapsed. We've gotten that same level of sophistication. You talk of the Nile Ferguson's or the Yuval Harari's, all the conditions that led to the collapse of the Roman Empire, the collapse of the Incas, are all there now. We have to navigate it more elegantly so that we don't end up in 300 years of the Dark Ages. And that's the work of, I think, this generation. I think this next 20, 30 years will dictate the next 300 years of humanity. What kind of a future will we choose for generations to come? This idea of mass vaccination and, you know, passports, digital passports that relate to it, they're, they're sort of a double-edged sword. So I'd like to envision the future as the bright side of it and as the, the part where autonomy and, you know, blockchain and AI help to increase uh, human spirit and awareness and also to provide more productivity so that we have more time to live. Uh, basically, you know, have them the computers help us to, to create a faster and better system for ourselves, but not inhibit progress. Will we opt for a future of centralized control? The decentralized world is definitely coming, and there is, of course, a blowback where, where the centralized governments are going, wait, 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 we don't want, you know, we don't want to lose our power or whatever. But, but I think everybody's better off with a decentralized government because everybody's better off with an open, free flow of goods and services and finances. Or a future of pure creative energy, community, and decentralization. Two to three trillion dollars of wealth has been created, mostly over the last five years. And that wealth has ended up in the hands of people all over the world. Normally, this kind of wealth took generations to accumulate. If ever there was a moment we needed this kind of wealth distributed all over the world, something magical is happening here at a moment in time that we need it. The Future Is Now presents, together with OpenXO, One Inch Network, Dow Global, Bonus Market, and Global Autonomous Network. AIBC Summit UAE 2021. Transforming the future. Welcome to the city of tomorrow. This is Dubai. How will we transform the future? Is DeFi the answer? Europe on my bank is just a number in database. Something can go wrong. Someone of the employees in the bank can just remove this data and I, I wouldn't have any penny in there more on, on, on the account. But sooner or later, uh, I guess, of the uh, banks, the central banks move the direction of blockchain because you, you, you get the proof that nothing was manipulated. Who will guide us to the right path? The mothership of Bitcoin or the altcoins? The person debating me that their token is better, that person is lost. I'm not there to save that person. <laughs> I'm there to save the newbie trying to understand where their money can be safe in this crazy world of pump and dumps. The market is now completely changed. From 2017 to now, we have a really economic system. We have a really ecosystems that works. It is the city of the future taking a tangible stand into abundance and allowing decentralization to flourish. Right now, we are looking towards the next innovations in, in the blockchain space. Uh, things like NFTs, uh, things like uh, decentralized finance, and even centralized finance based on blockchain technology is topics that we're exploring here. We have a plan in cooperation with the Blockchain Center to create a UAE crypto map, where we will map and list every single crypto company in this country 
and have a kind of barometer which says that this company is verified, registered, not registered, scam, it's haram, it's halal, like all those things. With autonomy and innovation, Dubai is on its way to become self-sustainable and fully regenerative. And it's happening all over the world. In our network, there, there are lands, there are landowners, they're everywhere and they're realizing that it is up to them to feed their local communities. And here in the desert, it is more important than ever. Dubai is doing a good job recognizing the change and adapting to it. Look at Florida and Miami. They're doing a, a good job and you can see they're capitalizing. They're the beneficiary of the change. That's what happens when you embrace the future. You get to be part of it. You get to have a say in it. Resist it, you know, it, it runs you over. The future's coming. <laughs> Created by One Day Productions.